Okay, so I've been working on uh, trying to troubleshoot what's going on with this fridge. The first thing I did is I went ahead and I bought one of these, one of these uh, pack of 10 pieces uh, relay and overload switch right here. And um, I replaced it and nothing happened. So then I I went ahead and looked at the schematic in the back and, and it basically led me here to um to what is the the thermostat so if we take a look at the thermostat here uh this is the old thermostat and what i did before purchasing a new thermostat right over here is i checked for continuity between these two probes so so when you go ahead and let me see where it's located at right now Okay, so, so that's at zero. So I shouldn't see any uh, continuity. I have my multimeter set to continuity right here. And then we should hear a beep if there's any kind of connection between these two. There shouldn't be because it's at zero. But as soon as you start raising it, you should hear some kind of beep. So I'll just put it all the way high between these two. There's no beep. There's no continuity. So, um, just to double check, let me just make sure that we do have connection. See, it should sound like that, but it's not. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to the new one that I just purchased, right over here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set it at zero. So there's zero, so I shouldn't really hear any kind of beeping with this. No beeps. Then I'll just, just put at the low setting right here. And then right now there is uh, continuity. So that means that there is a signal passing through the two. When, uh, as soon as you make that little shift over, if you go all the way to seven, you should still hear something. Well, you still got it so so i'm gonna go ahead and, and install this and if i um and if it's uh, good to go then then that concludes this video okay i just fired it up and uh I'm to just install this piece so uh, this is kind of a little tricky uh to get this uh to get this out I, you have to uh push down or push up i would say right above those screws just a little bit and then, and then pull this in front and it'll kind of like hang down a little bit. While this is a very stiff uh, pipe, I wouldn't really bend bend it that much. I would try just to just to bring it low enough, just to be able to get this uh, this thermostat um, just to disconnect it, and of course uh, unplugged before you even do anything like that. Uh, so you disconnect that, or you take out the thermostat in here, and then uh, you test it just like I showed you. Uh, check to see if there's any continuity. If there's if there's no continuity between the two probes then uh then you're definitely uh needing to replace that uh but it's working it's kicking on so uh if you don't hear from me again that means that it's uh, it's good you always got to make sure that you you know you don't puncture this piece at all while taking this out carefully so you want to take it out a little bit you let it hang right here uh with this pipe and you gotta i mean if you could secure it in a way just to bring it down just a little bit that would be much more safe um but yeah, you don't want to, to make any more damage. You just bring it down just a little bit enough just to, so you can get this thermostat out. All right, well, this is a nice little success. And uh, I hope you guys are good. Bye.